Hello everyone and now welcome to a game, this game between Grubby and Phaleo here on the ruins of Ashara. Grubby has spawned as the orange orc on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Phaleo has spawned as the purple orc on the top right. Gonna go ahead and get things to four times speed, trying to keep track of the action here. Opening things up, Altar of Storms, Barracks, and a Burrow. Meanwhile, similar thing down on the south side here. The question is going to be, is it Farseer, Blade Master? Um, well, and the answer to that question in this mirror match is yes. Farseer versus Blade Master Voodoo Lounge now being placed down um, as well to get in some early heals. Meanwhile, Farseer should be getting up a War Mill um, fairly quickly as well, um, in addition to these grunts. Grubby opting the tech to tier 2 quickly before placing down that War Mill, Voodoo Lounge, or any additional buildings. Alright, so Farseer wants to do a, perhaps a bit of harassment. The Blade Master with a lone grunt going to be able to finish off some of these early, early units, pick up some items, and then pick up some healing salves and make a move out onto the battlefield. Phileo has tech to tier 2 as the Farseer ready to put in some of that pressure. Spirit Wolves ready to dive in. Orc Burrow already has two peons inside. And Phaleo only has one Orc Burrow since he did aggressively tech to tier 2. Now that there's only one Orc Burrow, that Orc Burrow has to hide the lower hit point peons whenever possible. Meanwhile, the Spirit Wolves going straight after a new Orc Burrow, taking that down in time. Back, on the, uh, back at home, Grubby is building up that war mill and getting up that new orc burrow as well, trying to keep Phaleo in this position where he can't train up any additional units. All right, Farseer venturing forth, though, doesn't have any way to heal any of these units, which could potentially be a problem as we're now looking at the Orc Burrow suffering a little bit of damage. All right, Orc Burrow suffering some damage here. Blade Master trying to get into position as well. And if you can supply block Orc for a very long time in this stage of the game, well, he's not going to be able to trade that Shadow Hunter um, as that second hero as we see some peons now blocking the Farseer from being able to move around easily. He needs to go deeper into the base here before he can actually try and make its way back out. Uh, the Grunt of Phaleo trying to perhaps block that um, Farseer. As you can see, Wind Walking Blade Master trying to close in on that distance and take down the Farseer here. Blade Master, there's a Wind Walk Strike there trying to get some damage onto that um, Grunt. It looks as though that Grunt could end up getting taken down one or two more shots there's another wind walk strike trying to get in front there and one more final sh hit from the blade master the deny by grubby not in time Phaleo in a good spot nearly level two on his blade master farseer needs to retreat back home get some healing salves and be refreshed and recharged meanwhile blade master already picks up the boots of speed and a circlet of nobility and ready to perhaps disrupt the healing on this farseer Farseer, however, doesn't have Boots of Speed, so not going to be able to get away from that Blade Master. But the Blade Master of Phileo is still hunting for this Farseer. But Grubby running laps around the map in order to buy a little bit of healing time. All right, that's going to work out well as Phileo does tech to tier 2. We see a Tauren Chieftain as the second hero here as the Blade Master now, well, gives up the chase and now opting to go after this Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Um, creep camp get into level two and perhaps just finishing everything off here farseer is is well back up to full grubby is building up some build um, building up some things back at home and does get spiked barricades on that war mill and um, preventing perhaps raiders and grunts from evil to able to dive in, dive on in all too easily all right Grubby is looking to set up an expo here, placing down a watchtower while getting up some headhunters with the Torn Chieftain reinforcing. Meanwhile, the Blade Master perhaps doesn't realize what is going on. No, there is a grunt nearby. He realizes what's happening and now perhaps going to be going after some of these units. Torn Chieftain does have Endurance Aura. Units will be able to move a little bit faster as the Blade Master tries to hunt down another grunt and take it down. It will end up falling at the hands of the Blade Master again as we're looking at an unlucky ensnare. Phileo also losing a grunt as well. 
All right, this grunt taking quite a bit of damage. He's trying to retreat back as well as the new watchtower is being placed down. Forest Troll Warlord, uh, perhaps gonna, is it going after the watchtower? Not quite sure what it's attacking. No, going after the b headhunter here, trying to find some easy targets. And the blade master is going to well, wind walk strike and get some additional damage. One more attack is all that's needed as, well, the headhunter accidentally blocks his own friend's path for retreat. All right, Shadow Hunter is out here on the battlefield as well. So all four orc heroes in this um, well orc mirror match. As we see a quick hex go down onto a head hunter again, trying to finish off all of these units, need, needing to actually click on these little stag and other units to see make sure that they are not um, they are not some sort of hex unit here. As the blade master trying to get in on that grunt, and it looks as though the grunt is going to be able to back away. To um, however, the farce here could have a little bit of a bad day, and wow, that little chakra attack nearly working down there. There goes the grunt as the farce here able to teleport into the very far back again. Are we going to see some more damage get? Racked up here, Farsi or purposely trying to hide, getting out of line of sight of that Shadow Hunter as the Spirit Wolves are just continuing to poke a little bit of damage again. All right, Torin Chieftain making his way out here doesn't have Stomp. We're looking at some Head Hunters poking some damage again, and Grubby using that Squirrel of Speed should be able to take down this grunt here easily as the Spirit Wolf is giving chase. Meanwhile, Blade Master trying to dive on in after that HUD Hunter, unable to finish it off. All right, one more attack from the Farseer should be enough. There's level two finally after all this time. Grubby does have two watchtowers down here, but does not have the expo up and operational. Torrent Chieftain going to make its way over, um, pick up that Pendant of Energy and that Tome of Agility. Failio is teching the tier 3, getting up a war mill, and also going for shamans with adept training, interestingly enough. So Failio going for a, a little bit more of an unorthodox plan here. Not quite sure how he's going to uh, play this. Meanwhile, the Blade Master going to try and take down this great hall, but it, it could be difficult to finish off with this. this uh, these many watchtowers nearby not even going for fortified armor yet but with so many watchtowers nearby here all right the uh, forest troll trapper is going to try and well finish off this base here blade master could finish easily clean up some of these units perhaps take down the level five ogre mauler or perhaps take down um, any of these other units as the blade master engage finds the farseer farseer is going to be in absolute trouble it looks like it will end up getting taken down a last ditch ch uh, well chain lightning to burn through some of its mana and dish out some damage but still not enough here as we are looking at another watchtower being placed down as well all right torrent chieftain could be in trouble he's trying to walk around the other side again we're looking at more and more units getting picked off one at a time as grubby tries to stabilize here all right grubby building an expo down here at the six o'clock location Meanwhile, Sphalio is looking to get reinforced defenses, try and protect his orc burrows, knowing that, well, headhunters and their ranged damage can easily pick off orc burrows otherwise. Meanwhile, we're looking at the Blade Master getting up to level 3 by Failio as the Shadow Hunter trying to get to level 2 as well and does get there. So be masked now for that Blade Master. Perhaps going to hand it off to the Shadow Hunter as the Shadow Hunter is the one that well, needs mana a little bit more in order to keep that Blade Master alive. All right, Great Hall nearly completed. However, the Blade Master is nearby enough to try and stop this. And it is going to be seconds away from being completed before Grubby, I think, is going to be forced to cancel and try and start all over. Shadow Hunter has fallen at level two, though, as the well, watchtowers were able to poke apart quite a bit. Torin Chieftain still sitting at level one, as we should be looking at a new, well, a new great hall being set down here. All right, it looks like Grubby has all the infrastructure for. Um, an expo just hasn't been able to get this expo off of the ground. If Grubby is able to get this expo up and running, he will definitely take that economic lead. But um, it's going to take time. And during that time, Phaleo should be able to build up 
um, his experience lead even more. Already sitting on level 3 on that Blade Master, going after this Ogre Magi creep camp now, picking up a Sobi Mask again. Um, that, is that going to be given to the Shadow Hunter? And does that increase the mana regeneration rate even more? Yes. Yeah, so nearly double double mana regeneration rate for that Shadow Hunter could mean nearly endless healing waves on that Blade Master. Coming back around down to the south side here, level two, level two, uh, pendant of energy given back to that Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain, if he does get to level three, that stomp is going to be difficult to stop. Shadow Hunter is still um, well, perhaps going to try and heal up a little bit more, going after this Centaur Outrunner here. Shadow Hunter could get to level three, and level two healing wave would be a tremendous, tremendous boost. Force Troll Shadow Priest is still feeling like a chicken, finally getting out of it, but going to get cleaned up here in just a second. Quickly to the bottom right, Torin Chieftain has a potion of invulnerability, has two rings of protection as the Farseer gets to level 3. Shadow Hunter just shy of level 3 here, as it also has a pendant of energy as well. Wow, that's a lot of um, a high capacity, high regeneration for that Shadow Hunter who does want to get to level 3 for that level 2 healing ward or healing wave. Torrent Chieftain does get in a stomp, going to find one peon down, going to take down another peon as well, but still shy of level 3. All right, timing is going to be key here. How things go. Claws of attack plus four left behind for the Blade Master, who now has plus 11 attack. Shadow Hunter perhaps needs to get a clarity potion. There's a more healing wave bouncing around as a quick well, spirit wolf showing up here, trying to disrupt some mining, but not going to get very far. Yes, I believe. You can, you can have a cookie for breakfast. That cannot be your only breakfast. All right. All right. Spiked barricades. Is that going to be enough of a deterrent here as Grubby, who we know often loves witch doctors, now going for a second spirit lodge? Are we going to be going for um, mass witch doctors? That is the question there with some stasis traps. Quick, quick dust of appearance, making sure that the Blade Master was not nearby. Well, in fact, he is. Going straight now after the Shaman's here does have a bloodlust on, on that Blade Master and now trying to take down some of those units. Perhaps going to try and burst down one or two again. There's a Windwalk Strike. Doesn't get the lucky Purge proc as the Blade Master now being forced to back away. We do see a tiny Great Hall being set up by Phaleo as well. So he's going to have an expo up and running and soon 12,000 gold left there's 10,000 gold here was it this is a 12.5 yeah 12.5 this gold mine has been mining for about a little bit more than a minute but it feels like grubby has been trying to set that expo up pretty much all game long torn chieftain sitting at level three farseer sitting at level three clearing up these creeps relatively easily. Meanwhile, we can look, take a look. Dire Wolf going after that peon right there. Blade Master trying to fight his way through, take down some of those units as we see a Farseer now. Well, Mass or Scroll of Town Portal in order to save all of those units here. All right, some e um, interesting engagements overall. The Dire Wolf actually getting them some kills on peons as the to Grubbies, Torrent Chieftain, and Farseer with mass headhunters, not berserkers, trying to fend off the attack. Remember, headhunters only have 350 hit points compared to the berserker, which is at a 450. Not having that additional 100 hit points is a very big deal as Grubby goes for Stomp and Lightning Shield to rack up a bit more damage. Grubby trying to put in some pressure here. There's a Stomp, there's a Lightning Shield. All of those grunts just standing nearby as you see Grubby now placing down a Stasis Trap as well. That stasis trap quickly getting cleaned up. Torrin Chieftain throws down another stomp right there. Shadow Hunter still has plenty of mana after all this time. You can see the healing wave continuing to just bounce around and Grubby's Torrin Chieftain gets taken down. Potion of healing unable to be used. Meanwhile, Blade Master trying to break through here. A couple of grunts, low hit point grunts need to back away. Farseer in this front line spot using that chain lightning to perhaps deter some of these lower hit point units as the Farseer gonna get a wow. I thought a final shot off onto that grunt there, but no, the Shadow Hunter with the Sobi mask able to get um, enough regeneration for one more heal. 
Forest Troll Shadow Priest going to be doing a little bit more healing as well. Bloodlusted Grunts and Bloodlusted Blade Master trying to well fend off the attack here as we see the reinforce or the spiked barricades. How much damage is it doing? It's doing quite a bit of damage here. Um, not allowing this Voodoo Lounge to be easily finished off. Chain Lightning versus Healing Wave. What is who is going to be coming out on top as we see Mass Witch Doctors on the inside here. We do not see Fortress as of yet, so we are not going to get any healing wards. Meanwhile, the Altar of Storms is trying to hold steady as we're looking at some, well, Grunts trying to knock the down the door here. Repair is not going to be possible. The Witch Doctors are trying to fend off the attack, but, well, no such luck. Altar of Storms does end up falling meaning you have to resurrect the um, Torrent Chieftain the, um, at the tavern or rebuild that Altar of Storms, both of which are very cost prohibitive or time consuming. Level 4 on the Blade Master of Phaleo. Nearly level 4 on that Shadow Hunter as well. Shadow Hunter retreating all the way back. You can see that mana regeneration on that Shadow Hunter, how fast it is. And, and actually just dropping that Pendant of Energy um, would, would actually help the overall increase as... Well, yeah, I'm not going to get into the math behind it. Just trust me, it works, especially if you have static regeneration. And then you add that item a little bit later, similar to how Moon Wells, you players will put down those circlets of nobilities, pure up the vitalities, and those pendants of energy, drink from the Moon Well, and then pick them back up. Just think of this as the longer way to do it. Farseer of Grubby placing down a match mass witch doctors everywhere also placing down some watchtowers in multiple locations to gain a little bit of sight we do see some stasis traps around as well so if Phaleo is not careful he could accidentally walk into a trap and be stunned by it allowing for some free damage all right Torin chieftain needs to get resurrected not quite sure why that process hasn't started yet Perhaps trying to get a little bit more lumber and then burst into low upkeep when the time comes. Meanwhile, we're looking at the orc army. Oh, there's that stun right there, but with no one really um, there to back up that damage, it's just going to do a little bit of a delay. Blade Master trying to finish off some of these units here. Spike barricades, Grunts trying to engage. You can see the Watchtower and the Burrows lobbing those attacks back. All right, we're looking at a bit of a base trade scenario. The Expo here for the main base here. The, or the Spiked Barricades are really not that large as we see Demolishers joining in on the battle too. So Phaleo is going straight for the buildings. Bloodlusted army ready to burst things through as the as the Great Hall here about to get taken down. Phaleo sitting on a 69 supply army mean, and g g resurrecting the torrent there's two Altar of Storms. All right. Building two Altar of Storms, forgetting that he had one in the other place. And what is that? As potential surround here. Going to finish off that Demolisher, easily take it down, and now continuing to fight their way through. Stasis Trap is not yet armed, as it's going to stun right there, turning back around. Perhaps could have tried to engage another Stasis Trap um, by Grubby, could engage as well. As we're looking at Grubby trying to scroll of Town Portal away again. There is another Stasis Trap once more, stunning much of that army as the Farseer retreats back here grubby trying to well finish off some of these other units does have a couple of watchtowers nearby the armies are well checking every which corner of the map as this could turn into a base race scenario meanwhile demolisher making its way over gonna try and take down some of these traps or er, traps here but no actually gets stunned by them instead all right I was not expecting a base race scenario here. Grubby going to lose his fortress and perhaps some of these other units as well. Do we have mastery training? Yes, we do have mastery training as the Witch Doctor tries to get away, but going to get purged down and taken down as the Blade Master gets to level 5. Phaleo looking to finish things off here. Healing Wave still bouncing around. You can see that the, those spiked barricades do, in fact, deal significant damage um, as, well, letting the range units take care of all of these buildings now. Grubby sitting at 39 supply over 31. 
Shane Lightning coming across here, trying to bounce around, finish off some of these units. We are looking at some Spirit Wolves getting summoned in as well, as the Torrent Chieftain going to go ahead and perhaps put down a foot, stun everyone here, and now perhaps try and finish off all of these units. Phaleo does have a good number of guard tower or watchtowers in addition to all of these orc burrows, making it difficult to try and put in that pressure. Squirrel of Town Portal, Blade Master, wants to finish off that Farseer, but can't as it is invulnerable as it teleports back home. All right, Demolisher here. Is it going to finish off this last building? One more shot should do it. Is it going to lob the attack? Yes, it will. Taking down the building before the Headhunter is able to take down that one Demolisher. Surprisingly, we, do not, we did not see the upgrade to Berserker during that time by Grubby. Perhaps he was limited on, on Lumber. Perhaps he ran out of time. Either way, these Headhunters are still lower on hit points than they should be, and it will take some time before we can upgrade to Tier 3 again. One base versus one base, but what is this? Phaleo's base only has 40 gold left. Meanwhile, Grubby still has 11 minutes of mining at his expo. That seems very, very well protected. All right, Blade Master is getting in some big critical strikes. 240 critical strikes here, trying to take down more of these units. Wanda Mana Stealing going to be given to the Shadow Hunter again. More ways to just try and, well, use Healing Wave a, a time and time again. Meanwhile, Torrent Chieftain will be able to get to level 4. Far, or I believe it's going to be able to get to level 4 here. Yeah, and also picking up Kagar's Pipe of Insight. Torrent Chieftain now offering a bit of bonus mana to the Farseer and to this Torrent Chieftain as well. Twenty-two minutes into this game, Phaleo is now in a tough situation. He has the larger army, but he knows the longer the game goes and in its current state, the better it is going to be for Grubby. We do see a tiny Great Hall being set up by Phaleo here, so he needs to try and defend this while um, aggressively defend this, perhaps try and pick some fights, pick off some of these units whenever he can. However, with so many Watcher wards or Sentry wards all around the map, Grubby knows exactly where his opponent is at any given time and can engage and do so. Perhaps Grubby's going to try and clear out one more red creep camp again as we see the watch reward is now down. But Phaleo now starting that mining to try to get up to full saturation. Here we are. Here we go into an engagement. Torrent Chieftain going to go ahead and get a stomp, chain, lightning, and well, lightning shield more than enough to stop a mining here pretty much in a second. All right, the Watchtowers are going to get taken down as well. And, well, with both Watchtowers taken down, base defense is going to be tough as we see a quick stomp right there. Blade Master, uh, well, temporarily stunned, is now going after all of these back units as we see Lightning Shield getting cast onto Grubby's unit. And that all of that is going to rack up a little bit more damage as well. It's actually picking away at multiple units here. You can take a look. The Headhunters um, are, are they yeah c killing each other because of that Lightning Shield and just delivering death even back home after a scroll of town portal. Phaleo needs to get up to full saturation again. He has the larger army. Meanwhile, Grubby is still playing a very, very solid game here as additional spirit lodges are being placed down. More headhunters are trained up, but remember those could have been berserkers if Grubby, Grubby upgraded them while that fortress was still up. Taking down more units again. Forest Troll Berserkers. Phaleo has well, hired up plenty of units from, um, well, from the tavern here. And we only see three actual workers out here on the battlefield. Blade Master uh, needs to try and protect all of these peons here. Grubby cannot afford to lose, or Phaleo cannot afford to lose any more of these peons as his economy is already pretty stunted. Grubby now trying to set up an expo here at the 3 o'clock location. Phaleo going to try and stop that before it really gets going. As we're looking at dual level 5 heroes by Phaleo going up against a dual level 4 by Grubby. 
The benefit for Grubby though is that he can go after creeps and get the necessary levels still as we're going to be going into an engagement here. Grubby's army is rather small. There's a healing war. Torrent Chief and Blade Master going to try and go after some of these units here. Grubby does have a couple of watchtowers offering some protection as well as we see a big stun go down. Meanwhile, Hex Farseer ends up getting taken down right there. Level 4 Farseer falls for Grubby. Grubby throws down another stomp here. Is he going to be able to fend off, get enough damage with these watchtowers as he well, strategically tries to retreat back. 31 supply compared to 50. Goblin Zeppelin picking up the targets as we see a purge go down onto the Goblin Zeppelin. Stasis trap right there. Forest Troll Berserkers just standing around, unable to do much as we see a dizziness from the Goblin Zeppelin getting taken down. And Grubby ends up losing or leaving the game. Phaleo comes out victorious. Phaleo outlasting Grubby, um, especially being able to re-establish up that economy off to the north. That slight hero level advantage getting level 5 on both his Blade Master and Farseer before Grubby was able to get to level 5 was a very big deal. The fact that um, while well, Phaleo was able to prevent the Torin Chieftain and the Farseer from creeping out that last level meant higher burst damage. Also, the utility of these, this dual Sobi mask and that um, pendant of energy meant that it felt like that the Shadow Hunter just seemingly always had mana when the time when well there was a need for it. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.